Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So in this video, I'm just going to be checking out, I guess you'd call it Roker Sieges, that's what I'm going to call it. It's more like Grand Conquest plus Kappa. <laughs> so we're going to be running these sets, um, running this team here. I don't know how well it's going to do, but basically the idea is we're chucking out as much damage as we can. Uh, I was thinking about putting in like my Cardelia or like my Alencia here or for example my Cordelia. But uh, if we look at the current enemy, it's Eureka or Erica. <laughs> and um, the thing is, is of course she's red, so logically if you want to do the most damage, you want to use a blue unit or something. But my problem is I don't know what the reinforcements are going to be like, and taking out the reinforcements are also pretty important, so... We're just going to go all in, this is my first run ever, so... We're going to fail really hard. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, the goal is to do as much damage, of course, and we can do 25,000 damage, like, before multipliers and stuff, at most. The boosts obviously boost your score, so we're just gonna go ahead and go all in <laughs> for the memes, because I don't think it'll be too hard throughout the whole round to get the max reward of 200k, especially since you get, um, the, what do you call these? I, I don't I don't know what they're called, but they're like Grand Conquest um, lances, Conqu Conquest lances or whatever they called them. But anyways, let's enough rambling. Let's get started. Oh, All right, so our goal is to get that much damage dealt. Of course, the first thing to keep in mind is that Erica has attack speed solo. She has Umber Burst, so she always counterattacks, except Jenny. <laughs> and Umber Calamity is a 9 cooldown special, which will charge up pretty fast, considering you're going to be wailing at her a lot. And so, yeah. Yes? So basically the big question is, how do I want to handle this? Um, I think the biggest thing is Jenny can't take that many hits. Nino is going to do fine. I'm not really worried about Nino. So, let's see. I guess we'll talk start with Jenny. I don't really know. Because she has gravity. That's what I, that's why I brought her. Because obviously if you limit their movement, they're going to do a lot worse. Um, go ahead and swap Effie, Dancer. So my idea here with Effie is that she's going to always charge up Gale Force because she's <laughs> gonna proc Heavy Blade and get countered. So she just did, um, like 6.8k damage by herself. And Nino's going to do quite a bit as well. Well that's a rip. I didn't pay attention to Umber Calamity proccing. So there goes Jenny. Um, that's just me and my, my first time. It's my first time playing this, so I don't really know how to handle that. So that's pretty much a rip now. You don't have healing. So we have to go for the 200k damage, Kappa. Uh, we're going to take out the thief. I think that's the most important thing. In this case. Let's go. So yeah, I gotta pay attention to that for future battles. I think we're just gonna have Effie take as much, do as much damage as she can. Let's go. That's pretty much all we're gonna be able to do here. Since Nino can't really do much now. Um... I guess I'll have her take out, like, the reinforcements and stuff. 
So that's pretty much all she can do. Uh, Umbra Calamity's gonna proc again, so... It's gonna be pretty... <laughs> it's pretty much a rip at this point. Not very good showing, but now I know that to pay attention to this. Because it will proc a lot using the Gale Force strategy. I know some people are going for the Astro approach, but I honestly think uh, Gale Force is a lot more consistent for damage. Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and do the attack here. This Epi is just going to... We're just basically going till Effie's dead. <laughs> uh, we got 48 times damage now. We have not done a lot of damage at all. It's only 25k. But that's what happens when you use a derp strat. I think we're going to dance Nino. And this is basically the last thing she's going to get to do. Rip. Nino did her best, but I mean, can only do so much. So now we're gonna get. Are we maxed out on our bonus? What? I thought you got uh, points for murdering these guys. Oh, uh, we're gonna attack even though we're wasting HP this way. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> So basically this is the end, uh, not a very good showing obviously, because we obviously boosted our damage by a ton. And so allied armies are going to finish off Erica. Uh, so yeah, that was not a very good showing because I lost Jenny early, because obviously she doesn't have that much HP. <laughs> um, it's not terrible, but... Um, Yeah, not very good. We did get 40k damage, uh, which is pretty solid. Now we have Klein, so... Uh, <laughs> let's check let's check them out real quick. Go ahead and do a couple on video, since I don't really care too much. He has Umbra Burst. So he doesn't have Brave Bow. That's good for us. He has Quick Repost, though. And with uh, Roker, he... Oh, er, not Roker, Umber Burst, he does the minimum one damage. So, um, for this, we don't want to, I definitely don't want to run my flyers. <laughs> uh, although I feel like still using Legendary Azura is okay. I was thinking about using Arden, because honestly, you know, he's a pretty good, um, pretty good wall with his HP stat, like Effie. But I don't have, um... Gale Force on him, and I don't feel like putting it on him, so we're not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, let's try again with this team. I feel like this team definitely could work pretty well, especially since this guy does not have three movement, as, as far as I'm concerned. So we're just gonna go in again with max boost for the memes. I guess it's called Havoc X, or I didn't, I didn't read that. <laughs> um. Alrighty, so I think first things first is uh, we gotta figure out how to. I guess we're gonna do the same start again. This is awkward. <laughs> um, it's really realistically speaking. Um, Effie's the one that does the most damage here. This doesn't proc Umbra Calamity, so we can go ahead and attack again. And he's gonna swap paces, so that's a really funny um, skill. <laughs> but. So yeah, I don't know about Jenny. Jenny seems pretty good in theory, but it's just like in practice. It's really suspicious. I don't know what you think about it. Here I go. Who to crush? Let's go. So now we're gonna proc Umbra Calamity here. 
And this forces him to slot places, so we can heal with Effie, or heal Effie, sorry. This is not the optimal damage output, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna go with this strategy. It's not the greatest strategy, but it'll work, I guess. We'll have Nino take her out. That's fine. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here. This is a little suspicious. Huh? I think I'll just hit the Let's defense go. tile and enter. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at this point. It's really hard to deal with the uh, cooldown, I, I do have to say. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because he's gonna proc Umber Calamity again huh? in this position. So I don't know. I don't know. It's a little tough to say what I should be doing. Cause like he'll he'll swap places regardless of what the heck goes on. It's like he can attack Nino, and he'll legit swap with her. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of funny. But he's going to go after them and swap like that. All right. Yeah, I don't I don't know about using Nino for this. Uh. I kinda need Umbro Calamity to proc, don't I? This is where it starts breaking down. It's turn 5 though, so... Alright, uh, I'm pretty sure he's just gonna take out uh, Zura if I do this. So I think logically the best option is to save Zura. And go after this, like this. Or actually, that didn't. What am I doing? <laughs> I moved Jenny to somewhere way, way to the incorrect spot. Uh, <laughs> um, that's fine, I guess. We can take out this guy. Attack like this, I guess. That's fine. And this cleric's gonna be do doing absolutely nothing to Jenny, so we can. I guess we'll attack like this. Uh, I don't actually know if I want. I'll do it. We're doing a little better than last time. That's not really saying much. <laughs> That's really not saying much. Um, yeah, I don't. I have to figure out the bonus shenanigans. This is turn seven, so we obviously go. gotta go all in to attack this guy. Yes. Yeah, I don't think I like running Nino for this. But it's Klein, so that's kind of the thing. Sure. So yeah, we're just gonna deal as much damage as we can to him. So we did not do too much damage in this. So, oh, there's an enemy face. <laughs> uh, okay. Rip Nino gets killed there, but okay, that's as that's as the best we could do there. But my allies do take out Klein, so that's cool. I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna climb the, the damage rewards pretty quickly. It doesn't take that much effort. Of course, this is not efficient for ranking, but I don't care if I'm being perfectly honest because it's mostly about the tier rewards. The rest of the rewards are feathers, so it's like it's nice to um, get a high ranking, but it doesn't really mean much right now because we don't know the optimal strategies yet. I uh, could try Astra, but I see the thing with Astra is it bypasses the it kind of deals with the issue of the rokers um oh new maps too that's interesting uh deals with the issue of umber calamity proccing really fast 
Because honestly, that's the real struggle, <laughs> is dealing with the cooldown on that. I think for this, for one more matchup, since it's a new map, I guess, I'm not going to run Nino, and instead we're going to run, like, a Flyer. I'm kind of thinking, what if I run double Flyers, but, yeah, <laughs> we're not about to try that. <laughs> um, let's see. What's her speed stat? Let's check. Her speed stat's 33. So we need 37. <laughs> um, I don't think we can get that. Yeah, I don't think we can get that. So, wait, we have, we have Effie. So as long as they're nearby each other, we can wreak, wreak havoc. <laughs> All right, I think also on Jenny, it might help to have Heavenly Light, so we'll run that. Does anyone else have Gravity who's decent? I guess there's Sakura. Uh, we could try Sakura or Erika, or basically every unit. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll think about this. Eh, Shablamo, we're just gonna go in with this team. <laughs> Don't really care, we're almost at 200k already. So, again, it's not too difficult to pick up the max rewards. It's mostly about the rank, and if you look at the current standings, people are just being a lot more efficient than I am. Like, 317 is pretty good. I, I don't know what the key is though, because you gotta be able to keep healing if you're going to be whacking at them a lot. So maybe Astro is a better strategy, but in terms of like overall damage output, the Brave Weapon Gill Force Strat's really strong. So we're gonna go in with this team fail really hard, because I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much the deal today. Don't know what we're doing. <laughs> All right, so what I'm thinking for turn one. We don't double Erica anymore, which is a bit unfortunate, but we'll go ahead and do that. And attack like this. Oh, she didn't, she didn't quad. <laughs> What am I doing? See, now it's like I kind of... Yeah, this is terrible. Yes. Understood. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I have to figure out how to uh, work with the... Zero didn't die at least, but that's not really saying much. Oh boy. <laughs> I see. Understood. Sure. Yes. Yeah, I have no idea. What do you do? <laughs> this is so bad. Um That did not heal enough, so this is a rip. Uh, I, I just don't, I think this is just not working very well because we're not quadding consistently. And I have no idea why I have desperation on Cordelia. Don't, don't question me. <laughs> I don't know what, what I'm doing at this point. Um... I don't know. I don't know what, how, if I like the Jenny strat or not. Especially since Jenny is not healing, uh, that's another problem. Here I go. We're just gonna do this. Yes. Don't really know what to do at this point. We're just losing. We're just dropping everyone. <laughs> so it's just gonna be Effie, I guess. I guess that's how it's gonna go. Yep. This is just not gonna go very well. Let's go. I see. 
Ooh, maybe... Hmm. No, we can't proc Gale Force consistently that way. I don't know. Let's go. That's gonna proc it again. Uh, we're just gonna do this thing. Yeah, definitely not a good showing on damage this time around. Our multiplier is decent, but it's not really saying much. I think we're gonna wait, right? Let's go. If we I actually need to know how the special works. Okay, it works after combat. So that's good to know. So this is basically all we're gonna get. Because she does guaranteed damage. So we got about the same as last time. And not gonna quite take out Eureka, which is fine. I think they're getting more health as well. Could be wrong on that, but yeah. I don't know what strategy I'm gonna run to like maximize damage output, if we're being perfectly honest here. It's like at this point we're almost already done with the uh, rewards. It's definitely really easy to get the score. I wonder what people do to get the maximum damage cap because again the max base damage is 25k. I can see it definitely being possible, but I'm trying to figure out what you could do to combat the Umbra Calamity from proccing so much. Because that does really screw over the strategy, because you can't like keep your units in the back. Which I like, it's pretty cool. Um, I guess very interesting art, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, obviously Water Blessing to boost your allies, Kappa. It's water season after all, so maybe there's some strategy with that as well, getting more HP. But, enough rambling, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, as always, this is East Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!